There is now an escalating conflict with the Iran-backed Hezbollah militia in Lebanon, and Israel is also poised to retaliate against Iran itself over last week's missile strikes. This evening we were joined in the studio by Sami Steen, the chairman of Glasgow Friends of Israel. Sami Steen, what have been your feelings on this day of remembrance? You know, Colin, I still look back a year when this happened on that Saturday, which is actually a Jewish holiday. And I still cannot believe that what happened actually happened. Because it was such a tragedy, such a, an unexpected occurrence, that even looking back on it now, I find it difficult to believe. And so today, which is the anniversary, it automatically takes you back to what happened that day with the same confusion and misunderstandings on how that kind of thing could happen in Israel which is well known for its intelligence and its capability, and yet they were caught napping by Hamas on that day, and it was just a terrible outcome. And many people I meet today, which I have, are all just as uh, confused as I was. And you held a vigil yesterday. Yes. What impact has this had on your life in Scotland? Well, I, I, I am a chair of an organization called Glasgow Friends of Israel, and we advocate for peace every Saturday on Buchanan Street. We have a stall, an, adv an advocacy stall. And since the 7th of October last year, we've had huge amount of support at the stall. People have come out that you would never think would be prepared to stand out on the street and be seen to be supporting Israel. And it's not just Israel, but it's the demand and desire for peace and we talk to all sorts of people that come to the stall. Many of them support what we do, some of them don't support what we do, and those are the people I want to talk to. I want to talk to the people that don't necessarily agree with me about what we do. I, I, and, and is there any contact with Palestinian supporters in Scotland, for example? Well, um, we are in Buchanan Street, and there are two pro-Palestinian stalls, one on either side of us. One, well, neither of them would talk to us, let's put it that way. We would be pleased to speak to anyone, but I don't call them pro-Palestinians. I call them Israel haters, because if you go to their stall and talk about peace, they don't know the meaning of the word peace. All they do is criticize Israel and show hate for Israel. Now, 1,200 Israelis were killed on the 7th of October last year, but since then, thousands of lives have been lost, most of them Palestinians. How do you feel about the Israeli government's response to what happened? I feel the loss of any civilian is wrong and is a tragedy for that family. But on the other hand, although I wouldn't necessarily vote for Netanyahu in a, if I was voting in Israel today, the government of Israel has a responsibility to protect its citizens, and that's what it's trying to do. We may disagree about how it's done, but I think from a principal point of view, they're doing the right thing. But can you understand why so many countries feel that the Israeli government have gone too far? Well, what does that mean, gone too far? A death of over 40,000 Palestinians. Well, Colin, we can discuss that number and what that number really means. But those numbers... Well, are do you numbers... not think there have been the death of 42,000 Palestinians? Well, I, I don't know how many, how many Palestinians have died, because I'm not Hamas, and I'm not actually pronouncing what the number of people killed is. You either believe them... I mean, these are terrorists. These are people who go out murdering civilians, so I wouldn't put but, it... But, I wouldn't but, put but, it but hang on, them. hang on. The 42,000 yeah, yeah. people yes. who have been killed in yes. Palestine aren't all members of Hamas. No, 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 of course not. Just no, 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 there are many civilians in that number, I agree. And it's wrong that they've been killed. But the reason, the, the problem is who is responsible for those deaths? And Hamas deliberately used them as human shields. Do you think there's any hope? Do you think there's any hope of any kind of resolution of ceasefire even? There's always hope. I believe in hope. And that's why I stand in Buchanan Street and talk about hope. And every, like, every conflict we've ever had in the world has somehow ended with negotiation. Doesn't matter which one you look at. And I believe this one will also end with the negotiation. Maybe not in my lifetime. I wish it would be my lifetime, but I believe it could be as long as that. Well, it could be. But you know, we need to have two leaders: a Palestinian leader and an Israeli leader, who wish more for their people than they wish for themselves. 
And if that happens, those two leaders can make peace for their people. Sammy Steen, thanks for joining us in Scotland. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank you.